Okay, this is one of the more complicated machines I've ever, ever made. Modeling Bohr's model of the atom. The backboard is digital to analog and analog to digital conversion and the nonlinear functions are worked on this Adreno. This board is timing and stores the analog constants on these potentiometers and one or two over there. These work integration of acceleration to velocity, velocity to position. The output goes to the scope on the X and Y channels, which is how this is wired. Uh, it's an XY Cartesian system. And then the inputs course the positions go back to this board, which determines the force function. So Mr. Bohr said that the angular momentum of the electron at the point here is quantized. In effect, it follows a nice orbit. Of course, the one you see there needs some adjustment. This machine is one of the most temperamental and difficult machines to ever, ever for one to have to use. So, what you can do is just adjust it, eventually, with enough care, one can uh, get it going correctly. There. Oh, not quite. suffice for now. And if you toy with the adjustments you can get better results. It's a rather tedious. So we're going to say that's the inner orbit. And Bohr himself, his atomic model stated that as the electron moved between orbits there was an energy change. So for instance if the electron starts here and if a photon were to hit the hydrogen atom, the electron would move upwards because the lowest orbit, which would be this one, has the least energy. Now, Mr. Bohr said that if the hydrogen atom were then to move from this state to this one, the, the electron in the atom, that is, it would give off a photon. So this model explains perfectly why the photon is the quanta of energy, because as the electron moves from this orbit to this one, the effect is that the energy change is multiple of Planck's constant, therefore only certain photons can be emitted or absorbed. So for instance, it would absorb one as it goes from here to there, and as it, as it, as it goes from here to here, it will have emitted one. This is at the lowest energy, and subsequent orbits would be higher. On this plot, the time has been greatly scaled, and each division here is 2 Bohr radius. So in principle, this would have a radius of 1, this one here, and this one of 4. In Bohr's model, the orbit diameter is a square of the quantum number. I hope this was interesting, definitely using the Arduino Nano for the timing and the Mega for the uh, floating point nonlinear force functions. Overall, one of the more complicated and temperamental projects I've ever, ever had to work with. Uh, thank you for watching.